Hey, Joe Hopkins here, and I'm here to give a banjo lesson. Why am I going to give a banjo lesson? Because a lot of people want to learn the banjo, right? But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can't see the banjo. Let me move the microphone. There we go. Now you can see the banjo. Here's the thing. People don't want to spend a ton of their time learning how to play the banjo. Now you see, the banjo, uh, traditionally people put on the little finger picks and they learn those little banjo rolls, you know, like the bluegrass, uh, Earl Scruggs style banjo picking rolls, you know? But faster, like it's real fast stuff. It sounds great, people love it, right? But not everybody has the time to put into that. Now, I took the time to learn uh, different picking rolls for the guitar back in high school. I spent like six months of my life learning that stuff. And when I picked up the banjo, right, I decided I didn't want to spend a ton of time on it. I wanted to take the easiest, cheapest, just most direct way possible to sounding pretty decent and that's frailing so here i am i am i'm drunk this is a drunk banjo lesson and can a drunk person play the banjo well <laughs> not not so good that's like i'm fumbling <laughs> So I can play the banjo a little bit. I'm pretty well hammered. But here's the thing. Here is the direction I went in. I went with frailing because it's easy. And I'm going to teach you, yes, you out there, how to play the banjo pretty damn easy. Here it is, right? We're not even going to work on chords or anything like that. All you need to know is that little strumming, you know? The... Sounds pretty good, right? Sounds like I know what I'm doing. So what it is, is instead of picking, right? You're flicking. Look at it. You're flicking it. And then your thumb, you rest it right on that top string. And you pick it on the upstroke. Let me show you. You flick. Just flick that bottom string, your low string, and then strum, and then pluck. It's just flick, strum, pluck. You're plucking that with your thumb, so you're going down, down, pluck with your thumb. That's all it is. It's pluck, strum, pluck. Pluck, strum, pluck. That up pluck, the third note, is with your thumb. You just rest it right on that top string. This is a five string banjo, so that top string is tuned to G. I'm tuned to an open G. You just flick, strum, and then pluck. That's the whole motion, right? You'd practice that. You don't even have to be that accurate. As long as you're close, it sounds fine. And that's what it is. The pluck, strum, pluck. Flick that bottom string, strum all of them, and pluck.
Now that seems pretty easy, right? All I had to do was practice that for a couple days till I could do this. That kind of off kilter one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four and one and two. And, and that's all you need. That little one and two and one and two and that's all you need. And then, right, you don't even need to worry about chords. You just got your second fret hammer ons. Right? That's pretty easy. Just your... All I'm doing is pushing my finger down on the second fret on that low string. And it sounds like you know what you're doing. Right? And then buy a book of banjo chords. Learn a couple chords. All you really need is C, G. It's tuned to an open G. G, C, and D seventh. Right? You could do a D, but most people just live with a D seventh. Yeah, so all you need is three chords, literally three chords, G, C, and D seventh, and uh, just learn a couple hammer-ons along with that motion. And practice it till you get faster. And that's all there is to it. And everything else stems from there. I mean, some of the stuff I was doing that. That's hammer-ons and pull-offs and a little bit of drop thumb, you know? Where you move your thumb down. Same motion, you just move your thumb down every other one and hit a lower string. But it all starts with that motion right there. I can do that drunk as hell, and you can too. It's easy for beginners. It's why I picked that. I mean, honestly, I spent years a couple of years studying classical guitar, learning folk guitar roles, learning to pick for all that, learning learning everything the right way. And when I picked up the banjo, I decided I don't want to spend years learning this. I just want to do the easiest thing possible and have fun with it. And that's frailing. <laughs> because that I could do in a week. I didn't have to spend six months learning it. I could do it in a week. And you can too. You can just... <laughs> learn that, that plick, strum, pluck. And you're well on your way to being able to play 
frailing banjo. They call it frailing, they call it hammer claw, whatever you want to claw, call it. You can learn it quick, you can learn it easy, and you can do it wasted. It's easy. <laughs> And it's as easy as that. So hey, find yourself a banjo, maybe uh, <laughs> drink one too many beers, and pick away. And I hope you guys have a good time with it, because I've had a great time with the banjo. I love this instrument as much as people make fun of it. It's a great instrument to learn to play, especially if you already know guitar. It's, it's pretty easy to jump to, and it, it's, I mean, really, man, it's got a great sound to it. So you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hit subscribe, maybe uh, let me know if you want more banjo lessons. I can show you another thing or two, you know what I mean? Uh, I love you guys, I'll see you later. You know, peace out baby, bye bye.